Sustainable development is essential to the United Arab Emirates and to Abu Dhabi in particular. It is integral to my company and personally important to me. Today's hearing helps illustrate our belief that aggressively addressing these fundamental issues can help bring communities together, even those as diverse as Abu Dhabi and Greensburg, Kansas. Let me begin with a brief overview. In April 2006, the government of Abu Dhabi launched the Masdar Initiative to establish a new economic development program that is entirely dedicated to sustainable energy. Masdar is, multifaceted Masdar is a multifaceted undertaking to address future energy-related issues. The government of Abu Dhabi has committed $15 billion to the Masdar Initiative, and we are leveraging additional funds through partnerships and private sector. Masdar includes investments in current technologies, new solar manufacturing plants, renewable energy infrastructure, and carbon management projects. We are creating a one-of-a-kind research institute in Abu Dhabi and developing Mazda City, the world's first carbon-neutral zero-waste city. Given the subject of the hearing, I want to focus on Mazda City, which is really the centerpiece of the entire program. Imagine a city built in, in the desert that will house 50,000 people, technology companies, a research institute, R&D facilities, light manufacturing plants, stores, schools, and libraries, all powered by renewable energy. There will be no cars. People will move around on personal rapid transit, light rail, seg segways, and bikes. A net of photovoltaic collectors will create shade along narrow streets. Green spaces will be fed with purified, recycled water. We expect the city will be the blueprint for cities of the future. We will do this by completely re-engineering the way modern cities are built and use energy. In planning the city, we did not look at the cost of energy per kilowatt hour. Instead, we looked at the cost per, per square meter. Integrated design is a core element of our planning. It will help reduce energy and water demand to unprecedented levels. Specifically, Mazda City will require only 200 megawatts of power instead of the 800 megawatts that are normally required by a conventional city of the same size. Desalinated water consumptions will drop from 20,000 cubic meters per day to only 8,000. And through intensive reuse and recycling, we will eliminate the need for millions of square meters of landfill. Mazda City will be more than just an efficient, environmentally friendly space. It will be a platform for long-term innovation. Residents of the city will be part, part of a community that includes global leaders in business, academia, and finance who can collaborate on a common goal. When I travel, the most frequent question I get asked is why? Why would a major oil-producing country proactively seek a key role in the alternative energy space? The answer is simple. First, we want to reduce our own carbon footprint. The UAE ratified the Kyoto Protocol, and we must be prepared to meet future commitments to reduce emissions while ensuring continuous growth. Second, as part of our diversification and long-term economic strategy, Abu Dhabi seeks to be a developer and an exporter of technology rather than being an importer. We will continue to be a leader in the global energy markets, but go beyond hydrocarbons. We believe we can act as a catalyst to encourage nations with greater human technological and institutional resources to accelerate the adoption of clean and sustainable technology. We also see this as an opportunity to be a part of a growing business sector. According to the International Energy Agency, the world's energy requirements could grow by as much as 50% or more by 2030. We want to help meet these needs. That is why we are taking these proactive steps. Finally, I want to inform the committee about the significant contribution of American innovators. MIT is working with us to establish the world's first research-driven graduate university focused on sustainable energy, which is called the Masdar Institute of Science and Technology. Investments by our Masdar Clean Tech Fund include US-based Dorotherm, Enertech, Halosource, Nanogram Corporation, Segway, Heliovolt, and Solargenics. Colorado-based CH2 Umhel serves as a program manager for the overall development of Mazda City, and there is more American innovators that are very much involved with the Mazda initiative. Things are happening fast at Mazda. We broke ground in, in, in Mazda City in February 2008. Students are being enrolled in, in MIT, in, in MIST. We invite you to come to Abu Dhabi and to see it all firsthand. I welcome our American friends and partners to join us. Thank you again for inviting me here today, and I look forward to answering your questions. Thank you.